of YouTube. Make sure everybody is actually live. And uh, if it ain't done right, I don't know how to do it right. So what's going on, you guys? Good to see everybody. That's tonight. Let me see if I can pull up Periscope on the phone. If you guys do not know that I am on Periscope as Financial Moses, Periscope as Financial Moses. Y'all, y'all got to tell me what y'all think about this name before we go any further with this scope. Because I need to make sure I ain't out here making a fool of myself. <laughs> right? Like I'm dead serious. I need to make sure I ain't out here making a fool of myself. Like, okay. Do y'all, when I say Financial Moses, does it make sense to y'all? Do y'all get it? Do you not like the name? Do you think it's kind of cartoonish? Do you think it's stupid? Do you like it? Does it speak to you? I really need to know before uh, I, I, I go full-fledged with this whole Financial Moses thing, right? Uh, I like it, but I need to make sure that it, you know, I like a lot of stuff that ain't that, that ain't really, like, be honest. Y'all got to be honest with a brother. Like, if y'all don't like it, like, tell me the truth. Like, don't be one of them friends that be out there like, <laughs> like, girl, did you see, did you see what she had on after you told the girl that you like it, like, for real? uh what's going on love me good to see you uh thank you for coming into the scope for the first time i really appreciate it um but yeah dead serious you guys financial moses tell me what you guys think about it while i kind of do my whole introduction uh let me see if i can pick facebook up over here you guys and i am on youtube and i got one person watch me live on youtube as always you know what i think that one person is me <laughs> I do. I think it's very intelligent. I, uh, I I like you read like. Okay, you like it? Okay. Um, well, we'll see. I don't know. All right. So, we'll, we'll see. Uh, delivering us from broke. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's what it's supposed to be, Tessie. Uh, just want to make sure that, that it, it actually communicates what I would like to communicate. All right. You guys, my name is George Howard. I am your financial Moses. I am um, I teach you guys how to actually obtain wealth God's way. I've been literally teaching financial literacy for over uh, 20 plus years. Uh, I've written curriculums for the National Urban League of Young Professionals out of Nashville, Tennessee, the NAACP. I own two mortgage companies. I have my own talk show, The George Howard Show, for over five years in Nashville. I own two different radio stations, two hours a day, every single day, uh, for like two years. But I was on for five years, like every day, on one of the stations. Um... Yeah, so um, guys, this um, that's that's my. I've owned two mortgage companies. I've written a book, uh, edited your credit. I've I've done a lot, you guys. Uh, in my short time, God has allowed me to be in this ministry. I absolutely love it. Um, Kim Grant, good evening. So it's Kimmy Powell on here. I did not know that Kim. So now you Kimmy Powell on Periscope. Wait a minute, you found Periscope. Whoop, whoop. So you got to tell me, guys, everybody, let's welcome Kim to Periscope. It is her first day on Periscope. Um, you look so, I mean, she's her first day on Periscope. Let's welcome her. She will probably be addicted by uh, the end of the week when she finds all the people um, who are actually on here. It is so much content, so much information is on Periscope. It's ridiculous, right? So, guys, uh, everybody that got that, you see Kimmy Powell on there. Everybody, let's welcome her to um uh, to Periscope, you guys. It's, I remember y'all first day on here. You was like, what did, What I got to do? What is this? Who do I find? What do I follow? And then when you finally got the hang of it, now y'all can't even, you can't get off of it, right? Um, um, so anyway, you guys, real quickly, um, today we're going to be talking about tax lien certificates. We're going to talk about tax lien, residual income, and the only guaranteed investment. Um, hey, what's this? What's How you doing, Lisa? Uh, what was this? Hey, what you say? You understand why people got to lie? It's late. I understand the East Coast is 10 o'clock, so I ain't got time to really, really kind of go in with you. But typically, I will entertain you because I get, I get like, enjoyment out of the trolls sometimes. But tonight, no, can't do it. But uh, I can, uh, so anyway, guys, real quickly, uh, you love Periscope? I'm telling y'all. If you guys have not shared this out, whether you're on YouTube, whether you're on Periscope, whether you are on Facebook, please share this out. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, so, hey, wise guy, if you think I'm lying, then leave. This is not rocket science. Evidently, you have no life and you really have nothing else to do. I'm not asking you to come in here. Leave. Right? So, uh, everybody either, um, anyway. 
If you shut up and listen, I might teach you how to make some money. And if you don't want to shut up and listen, then leave. This is not really that hard. It's not. It's either you shut up and listen or you're going to get kicked out. One or the other. All right. So, guys, real quickly, you guys want to go ahead and share this content out. Go ahead and share this content out. I shared two scopes today um, where one was a duplex that is one of Please keep me in prayer. I had surgery yesterday. It was an accident. Oh, Monique, the righteous. Uh, yes, we will keep you. Um, yes, we will keep you. We will definitely keep you in prayer. Uh, guys, matter of fact, let's pray right now. God, in the name of Jesus, we pray now. Uh, for Monique, God, right now, in the name of Jesus. God, you said in your word that you never seen the righteous forsaken or the seed begging bread. We speak over her life right now, God, that everything she needs, she has in the name of Jesus, including healing in the name of Jesus. God, you said by your stripes were healed. God, you said that you sent your word and it healed them. God, I believe that there's a bomb in Gilead. So, God, right now, we speak to every infirmity, every sickness, every, every, uh, Every impropriety that may be in her body, God, in the name of Jesus, that bones line up, joints line up, that muscles line up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray for pain right now, disappearing in the name of Jesus. I speak speedily recovery in Jesus' name. No loss of income in Jesus' name. And we, God, we thank you right now, even though the devil tried to take her out, that God, angels were dispatched around her, God, and the enemy's plan was flawed in Jesus' name. Now I pray that what the enemy meant for evil, God, you make it work out for good in the name of Jesus. For you said that all things work together for the good of who those who are called according to Jesus. God, according to Called according to his purpose. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, God, we give you glory. We pray. Amen. Guys, we're going to pray and keep Monique, uh, the righteous, lifted in prayer. Don't forget, let's keep Teresa lifted in prayer as she's traveling uh, for a funeral this weekend. We just believe God for that in the name of Jesus, you guys. Y'all know, you know, uh, listen, we teach finance, but guys, I, kn I know the Lord. Not the Lord. The Lord. I know the Lord. Uh, you know, so anyway. Guys, let's get into this content. If you guys have not followed our YouTube channel, make sure you follow our YouTube channel, subscribe. If you have not um, come into the Wealth Room on, on Facebook, make sure you come into the Facebook. What's wrong? Oh, you finally got it to come up. If you guys are on Facebook, make sure you guys come on Facebook into there. And then uh, also, if you have not registered for the webinar, myffu.com forward slash webinar, Come to the webinar. It is this Saturday at 7 o'clock. I'm going to be teaching you exactly what we're going to be talking about today, but we're going to go into a lot more in depth. Um, awesome day. Yes, right, God, God's girl. You better say it in the name of Jesus. All right. So anyway, thank you for registering. You guys are already registered. I promise you, I'm literally going to teach you. Hey, wise guy, this broke guy, wise guy, I'm going to teach you how to take $500 and transform into a million dollars. Literally. This is not made up money. This is not equity. This is not assets. It's not money on paper. This is real cash money in the bank. This is not a Ponzi scheme. This is not a pyramid scheme. You don't have to sell anything. This is literally taking $500 less than what you, um, and less, less than what you pay for an iPhone, less than what you're paying for some gaming systems, less than what you guys are paying for, uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce tickets, you guys right now can come and register. And for those who are already come to the webinar, let's tell wise guy, am I literally going to teach you how to take $500 and make a million dollars? You tired of being broke? I'm going to show you. I promise you guys. I'm going to promise. I'm literally going, if you can count to five and you got $500, you can be a millionaire. This is not, this is not made up money. It's not facetious. This is real cash money in the bank. My bad. Real cash money in the bank. Y'all know I got my my, my hats up there. Um, what do you need to do? Lisa, you got to watch the course. You got to finish the course. Finish the course. At least get up to the advanced course. You got to finish at least to advance, right? To get ready for uh, that. Right. Hey, Lorraine, I need to call you. Helen told me I need to call you last week, and I haven't done it yet. So I'm sorry. But I got good news for you. Remember all them bushes that was in the back of your house? They're gone. They're gone. Not all of them, but like 90% of them are gone. I took pictures for you. Uh, so I have to send them to you, Lorraine. Um, you're so excited you can't wait. That's right. All right. So, guys, real quickly, we're talking about tax lien certificates, right? So I'm going to go through a brief introduction of what tax lien certificates are and uh, why they exist and what you need to do about it. So, wise guy, which course? Uh, the per the total purchase of the profit course. It came with the it came with your class. So and it came with it came with your conference. Like when you registered. For the conference, you should have had to put in a username and password. 
that got you registered for the student center. Yes, you got to watch the. It's four different courses for the total package. You got the beginner. You have the beginner. You have the starter. You have the beginner, and then you have the advanced. You need to have at least watch those four, three different courses, and then the total. That's after you get your property, but that's actually good information you want to actually do. All right. So, guys, if you have not shared this out, I asked for two things that you guys already know. Two things. Um, two things, and uh. Uh, that I actually do. Number one, I ask you to share this content out, share this scope out, number one. And number two, I ask you to hit those hearts, hit that like button on. If you're on YouTube, hit that like button. Help me get some ratings and some reviews. Hit those hearts on Periscope and hit those likes and hearts if you are on Facebook. If I pour into you, I pour back into me. I only see one red color on um on Periscope, I should see a whole lot more colors. Make me make me know that you're liking what I'm saying, you guys. I'm like a preacher. You got to talk back to me. And the only way you can talk back to me is by tapping those hearts. All right. So real quickly, guys, let's go ahead and get into this content. Let's go ahead and talk about exactly what it is, right? We're going to cover some of this in the webinar. Don't forget the webinar is free. You can go to myffu.com forward slash webinar. Uh, but before we get started, I do want to go ahead and show a, and show. A very short and brief commercial that I made last night. So we're going to see how it works out, right? So I'll be right back. Hi, everyone. My name is Ed from San Diego, California. I was here at the Purchase the Profits uh, conference. I'm Drea, known as Lady Drea, and I'm at the Purchase the Profit conference in Chicago. Katrina Beverly. It's Davida Hunter Barnes. It was a plethora of information, not overwhelmed. It was so much information. The amount of information we were um, given this overwhelmed with information and it was fully loaded. Very informative. One time of fellowship, I met new people. It was just like family. It was a true feeling of family love. Um, build some partnerships, build some, uh, some relationships. Meet and connect with. It was just phenomenal. Being amongst others that are on the road to wealth is really empowering. It was an awesome experience. It was very powerful. I had an extraordinarily wonderful time. I got more for my money than I expected. George, I greatly appreciate everything that you did this weekend. I would advise anyone else to come if you want to change your life. So thank you and I, you should come. You're definitely missing out. All right, guys, and we are back right here at Financial Freedom University. We're talking about this evening tax lien certificate, residual income, which is, means I ain't got to work for nobody no more. Not no more, no more, right? And then finally, um, we're going to be actually um, talking about uh, getting that M-O-N-E-Y. You sent the, I sent the nurse friend to your Facebook content. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate it, man. All right. Uh, guys, if you have not hit that share button, hit that share button, share, 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 share. So let me tell you about tax lien certificates, right? And this is stuff like literally from the like beginner course, the starter course that we talked about. Uh, no mo, right? <laughs> so, and I'm talking kind of fast, so I'm going to try to slow it down. Um, back in the day, you guys, there was a, um, give me one second. Let me see. Uh, I still have it in PowerPoint. Uh, back in the day, you guys, there was something called the feudal system, right? Um, there was something called, you almost done with your starter course. Whoop, whoop. All right, Cheyenne, tell me what you think about it. Are you enjoying it? Did you find your why? That is the most important part of that starter course. And most people probably are not probably doing uh, that particular exercise. I know people be like, oh, I don't need that. Yes, you do. I promise you, you do. I promise you do. You need to find your why. That is so important. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's in your course. All right. So uh, real quickly, guys, there was something called the feudal system back in England um, back in the day. You've been leaving comments. Uh, I got to go look at those comments. They're really for like uh, they encourage other people. I got to go look at them. Right. But guys, 95 percent of people who get involved in real estate fail. And I really believe that they fail because honestly, they really don't know why they are really doing it other than. Uh, I want to make money. And you guys got to find something bigger than making money. That's all I can tell you with the why, right? But back in the day, there was a guy by the name of William the Conqueror, right? William the Conqueror, uh, he came up with this saying, and I, I can't pronounce it right, but it's like Nule Ter San Cigar, something like that. No test San Cigar. That's what it is. No test San Cigar, right? Which means no land without Lord. It was the English tax system back in like 1000 
uh, AD, um, like 1000 AD, the English tax system. And what he did is that he actually set it up to where uh, the tax system was set on you actually being able or having to do uh, things for him so that you can keep your land. And so like you had to sing the king a birthday present, like let dead serious, you, you had to sing a, sing a birthday present. Um, you had to do like your night service and then you also had to pay your taxes. If you did not do those three things, your land was reverted back to the king. Hear me, it was, it was reverted back to the king and, or back to the crown is what they call it then, back to the crown and then the crown could actually resell your property and then that person would have to do those things. That is literally the truth. It was called the feudal system. Um, the feudal system, I think it's uh, F-E-U-D-A-L. -E the feudal system, right? You had feudal dues, all right? Um, so with that being said, you guys, when we kind of, when we set up our government, we adopted a lot of things from the English, like a lot, including tax lien certificates. We adopted that, right? And so... We took that from them. And so what happens is that if you do not pay your taxes, it reverts back to the crown. Well, who's the crown in the United States? The government. The government is the crown, right? And so the government literally says that if you don't pay your taxes because the government needs the tax money to fix your roads, to actually goes back to the county, right? To your county hospitals, your county jails, uh, your public school systems, your parks, your recreational, all of this stuff that's ran by the county, they need money to do those things. And if they don't have tax money, then they can't meet budget. And so they, they adopted the English system that says that if they get to take your property back, if you don't pay your taxes, well, taking the property back doesn't do them any good. So there's two things that they do. Y'all probably want to write this down. If you have not taken my course, uh, you probably want to write this down. There's two things that they do. The first thing that they do is that they're going to apply a penalty. They're going to apply a penalty to your taxes when you're late. When you are late, uh, they apply a penalty. Thank you. Did I spell it right? Because y'all know I can't spell to save my life. I, <laughs> I can't spell. I can read, but I, I, I can't spell, right? So they apply a penalty. So uh, I'm a homeowner, and this year I was late paying my taxes. Literally, it slipped up on me. I forgot, literally in my county, and y'all know I got several properties. We had to go down there. I had to pay a 10% penalty on every single property. We paid it the day after. Literally, it was like due on like November 3rd. And I was like, oh my God, it's the day the 3rd? And I tried to pay online. It would not let me pay online. So Brittany had to go out there and pay physically on the 4th. And guess what? They charged me 10% on every single property. I didn't like paying 10%. But I knew if I didn't pay that 10%, I knew it was going to take my property back. So I paid the 10%, right? So this is what happens. When they apply that 10% to your taxes, if you still don't pay, if you, right, y'all know 10% on all them properties, I was like, Lord, but just don't wait till, that's a lesson learned. Don't wait till the last minute. Like, just don't wait till the last minute. Just pay it. Like, that's what happened, you know. My fault. I can't blame nobody else but me, right? So, anyway, what the county wants, though, when they apply that penalty, if that person still don't pay their taxes, they still don't get any money. And they still got bills to pay. They still got to run the county. They still have to run the school systems. They still got to pay for the public parks. They still got to fix your streets. They still got to have all those people for the public jails. They still got administration costs and building costs and technology costs and transportation costs. They still got all the stuff of, um, of accounts payables that every other business has. So what they'll do is, is that they'll put a lien against your property for the amount of your back taxes. Now, one thing about this lien is that it's the crown. It's the government. So anybody else who has a lien against your property comes second to the tax lien. The tax lien automatically gets first lien position. Hear me, please hear me. What's going on, Teray? Good to see you, baby. Um, gets first lien position. Anybody who is in line. That's including your mortgage. That's including your second mortgage. That's including them business loans you may have got and refinance or use your house as collateral on. That's including any other liens that, whether it was voluntary or non-voluntary, uh, liens that you have against it, it takes second to the crown or the government, right? 
So they put that lien against your property, but guess what? You still ain't paid, right? So this is what happens. You didn't pay. That was a penalty. You still didn't pay. There's a lien. You still didn't pay. So what they're going to do is that they're going to take the lien and they're going to sell the lien with the guarantee that you're going to get that interest rate. Remember that 10% interest rate I told you I had to pay? Well, if I didn't pay it, they would have taken that lien, took it to an auction, and they would have said, okay, Mr. Howard, you did not pay your taxes. You got 120 days to either pay your taxes or you're going to lose your house. That that I had to pay would have been my taxes plus the 10% penalty. How much for teaching how to send notices to individuals who have interest in property and how? I feel we actually have a course for that. It is $500 and it's the Indiana course that we have uh, to petition court for D. All of that is $500. We have the course $497, um, but for $497, you might as well go ahead and get the, you know, we have a course just for that, but it's only for the state of Indiana. If you're in another state, it probably won't work for you. But if you are in the state of Indiana, have a cold course on how to petition for deed uh, in Lake County. Yes, $500, Phil. Call the office, 773-816-3542. If somebody can tag Phil, give him that phone number, 773-816-3542. All right? So anyway, so they take that lien and they're going to auction it off. Now, at the auction, you do not, tired of paying lawyers, you pay lawyers. How much are you paying, Phil? What, between $600 to $1,000 per property? Yeah, man, you make that one-time payment and you'll never have to pay another attorney again. You you want to look into that. Never have to pay him again. All right. Um, if you guys don't know what Phil is talking about, um, you watch the replay, too. If you guys don't know what Phil is talking about, Phil is talking about... Uh, here's one suitcase, right? A thousand in folders. I can't lift the other one. Um, we'll see if we can get it. I can't. I can't lift this thing. It's heavy, but it's a whole nother big, gigantic. Let me see. If I can open it up so y'all can see it back here. Uh, can y'all see that? Wait. Uh, man, this thing's so heavy, boy. We have to take this to court so they can review. All those are files, you guys. All those are files that we haven't put in the file cabinet yet. I actually told them to keep it out so I can show you guys. Those files have to go before the attorney for review so that we can actually say that we did our servings correctly. We passed. So uh, we did them correctly. I'm so excited about that. So uh, we're just waiting for the deed to come in the mail, right? Thank you, Phil. I appreciate you, man. I really do. Um, so that's right there real so anyway um so somebody says after you pay the tax thing do you still have to pay them the, the mortgage on the property that's what makes tax things so wonderful no any other other liens um any other liens or encumbrances are done away with forever somebody say forever ever forever ever and so um, let me bring up a tax deed for you guys so you guys can see, right? I'm going to actually show you guys a tax deed so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like, um, I'm going to drag this over here and then we're going to go, I'm just going to bring up a tax deed for you so you guys can see, um, is it Lake County? Uh, somebody give me the definition of a millionaire. Um, let's do just George Howard, right? I, I didn't want just George. I want George Howard. Somebody give me the definition of millionaire. Somebody say, are you a millionaire? So, uh, it depends on your definition. If you ask me if I got a million dollars in the bank, no. But if you ask me if my net worth of a million dollars, way over a million. All right. So, guys, I want to show you this right here, right? It says... Uh, whereas his ninth day of December 2016 produced the undersigned John Patelis, who is the um, who is the auditor, uh, John Patelis, the uh, auditor of Lake County of State of Indiana, certificate sold on the 24th day of March 2016, signed by John Patelis. Who did they sell the audit auditor? I want to get to this right here. Purchased at public auction, held pursuant to law, the real property described in this indenture, the sum of $500. So I paid $500 for this property, right? Um. <laughs> 
boy y'all funny being the amount due following the tracks required where is it at i'm looking forward it says all lean such encumbrances uh i'm looking for it give me one second I can't read it with this whole big stop thing in it. I'm looking for you guys. Well, typically on here, it says uh, all other lanes or encumbrances. Anybody else see it on here? I don't see it. Anyway, uh, typically it says on here, all other lanes or encumbrances. I don't see it on here, though. That kind of bothers me. Let me see if I can do. Uh, yeah, it won't do it in the document. Uh, anyway. Uh, you get the property regardless of other any other lanes or encumbrances, right? Brought it up for the one to show you. That is an actual tax lien, right? A tax deed, rather. That's the actual deed that you got from someone not paying their taxes. All right? So that person in particular did not pay their taxes. <laughs> uh, will somebody please get Bacardi and straighten him out? I don't even have to. I don't even want to have to straighten Bacardi out. Somebody straighten Bacardi out. And let him know, Bacardi, what you don't understand is, uh, uh, what you don't understand is, these people have been following me for a long time. I've been teaching this for a long time. And they sing this personally. I got people in here who it's worked for. They actually are now homeowners. So you can't come in here and try to do that. Right? So, all right, uh, uh, Brittany, can you start executing people, please? <laughs> Off with their neck. Like, just execute them. Just start executing them. Bam. Got to go. Oh, right. Thank you. All right. So, guys, that tax lien, right? So, now, that's a tax lien state. There's such thing. Um, there's a such thing called. You blocked them for me. Thank you. All right. There's a thing called tax deed states, right? And there's a difference between a lien and a deed state. A deed state is where you don't get an opportunity to pay your taxes. The, the county has been patient with you long enough. They said it's been two, three years, and we have not, <laughs> King George, offered their neck, right? Uh, you can call me a pirate, walk the plank, they got to go. Demons, in the name of Jesus, be gone. Like, <laughs> just cast them out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, up, ah, be gone. All right, so you got to, you know, you got to put that. In the name of Jesus, like, right, you know, yeah, never mind. Anyway, um, <laughs> so anyway, in a D state, you guys, you have to, um, they're, they're actually selling the real property at the auction. Like there's no redemption period. When you leave, it's going to be literally your property. Let's look at the difference between a lean state and a D state, right? So I'm going to go over here and we're just going to go to our student center, right? So I'm going to go to student center. This is our FFU, right? And I'm going to go to my four slash welcome. And then I'm going to go to log in. And then once we log in, I want to go to guys. This right here is actually our real student center. And this is the real course that we have. I just want to go into the starter package and I want to go to interactive deed map. And then I want to click on deed map and guys, you actually get to see the map right here. So any state that you can think of, this is it. So um, this is actually comes with your course. When you actually get our course, this comes with your course. You got D state, lean state, uh, deed and lean state, and redeemable D state. And I'll tell you what these are in just a second. All right. So, like Indiana, you guys can see that anything that's blue is a, a lean state. Anything that's red is a deed state. Right. So if I click on Indiana, right? If I click on a lean state like Indiana, which is where I am, you guys can see here's everything about Indiana. Uh, the redemption period. This is all state law, state code. We already did the research for you. You ain't got to go hunt it down. It's on here already for you. And then here's the counties. If you want to actually invest in that county, you want to try to get the list, call them and see if you can get the list. All right. 
Uh, this comes with any of our courses, any of our tax thing courses. This comes with all of them, right? Um, this comes with all of them. Whether you get our advanced, our starter, our beginner, our course compounds on top of each other. So uh, what is purple? So let's go back. If I'm not mistaken, purple was lean states. No, purple was a redeemable deed state. So, for example, Texas. Texas is a redeemable deed state, right? So, which is a hybrid state. Correct, Shannon, Cheyenne. That is exactly it. Um, which is, it, they treat it like, and I'll go back. Let me come back and see if y'all can get my picture up here. All right. It's, it's, there's something called like a lean state. There's something called a D state. And then they have a redeemable D state, which another way is called a hybrid, right? Which means that you actually can buy the deed, but they have a certain amount of time that they can actually redeem it. So like in Texas, you're actually buying the deed to the house, right? But they got six months to either pay you back your money to get the property back plus 25%. If it's a homestead exemption, which means they live in the property. I mean, I'm sorry, if it's not homestead, which means they don't live in a property, it's a second home, an investment property, something like that. All right. I'm not very sure, familiar with Oklahoma, being honest with you, but I know I researched the law and it's in the course. Right. Um, and then. Um, oh, we're talking about Texas. So the first six months, if it's a non redeem, non homestead, ex non homestead exemption, then you actually that we do big in Texas. You do. Y'all do it real big in Texas. OK. And then if it's not, then you get, they got up to two years to redeem it. So you can literally take possession of the property, but they can buy it back if they pay you money back plus 25%. 25% sounds good to me. This is why I love, this is why I love tax lien certificates. Because watch this. I'm going to actually pull this up. And we're going to, guys, we're going to take all the time through here. I'm so sorry I came on a little late tonight. By the way, um, we're going to pull this up right here. And we're going to go to what is the average return on, let's say, 401k, right? Financial partners still use 8 to 10%, which, guys, oh, I'm sorry, a 4% return would be a huge decline from the historical Performance of the U.S. stock market, which has earned an average of 10% in the last 40 years. Many financial products will still use the 8 to 10% expected stocks. Yeah, that's that's probably not. I don't know when the last time y'all seen y'all uh, portfolio, especially from your 401k, but I don't think any of y'all probably got 10%, right? I would probably say between 6 and 8 would sound more like it. I don't even say 8 to 10. 6 to 8, matter of fact, this says right here. I thought I just seen 5 to 8, right here. Uh, Investopedia five to eight right here. That's Investopedia. That's not a very good uh, uh, five frightening facts about your 401k. Um, not only the fees that are in it, but anyway, guys, I can tell you that you're getting returns on like your 401k, your mutual fund, your IRA, your annuity. Guys, you're getting returns on those things like between five and eight percent. Taxing certificates. I just told you it was 10% automatically in Indiana. I just had to pay it, right? If somebody had bought my lien, well, it wasn't a lien. I didn't let it get there. But if it had, to, so I need a certain course before attending the conference. It comes with the conference, Kimmy. It comes with it. It, it. it comes It comes literally with it, Kim. So when you register for the conference, you're actually by the course. We give you the course with it because I want you to be prepared for the conference because the conference, we're going to hit it hard. Like, I don't, I don't have time to teach the, the information. We really want to apply it. The more time I have to teach, the less time we have for research. So that's why we kind of ask everybody, we remind everybody, please watch these videos. Please watch the course. That's why we have tests at the end of them so we can monitor who's actually doing it, who's not doing it. And also, you know that I ain't really ready to go out here and do this because I ain't passed the test. All right. I would have bought your lien. Uh, Diva Woman, I'm going to beat you. You you can't buy my I ain't, <laughs> I ain't going. I ain't going to never let my stuff get that late. Are you crazy? I do this for a living. Ain't nobody going to get that chance. Uh, but I would have bought my lien too. All right. Um, so um, that's, that's, that's the first thing, right? So the second thing, you guys, is, well, let's go back to the map, right? So let's go back over here. All right. I want to, guys, I want to show you guys. Go back to the map here. And somebody, somebody threw out a state. Somebody, first state I see, I'll look it up. First state I see, I'll, I'll look it up. I help you guys. But you got a deed and lien state, right? So when you start looking at a deed and lien state, depending on where it is, like Ohio, depending on the county, 
determines like the population of the county determines whether it's a deed or a lean state. I see Tennessee first, so we're gonna do Tennessee. Uh, thank you, Phyllis, for actually throwing it up. Reese put in Tennessee too, right? So um, again, depending on the county, so that county is gonna tell you. So because you have stuff like that, we actually have, and I'm gonna do Tennessee in one minute. Uh, uh, those who put it in there, but I want to go back to the course real quickly, right? So if you hit the next unit. I want to actually, I want the download guide. I want this right here. Guys, this FFU state and lean directory is the truth. It absolutely is the truth, right? So it just downloaded down here. You can't see it because the lower third is there, but I'm going to actually open this up. And when it opens, it's going to open up in Excel. But when you guys see this, man, it's going, it's, it's going, it's going to blow your mind because it is the truth. <laughs> That's all I, not the truth, the truth, right? So when you hit this right here, guys, this is every county, every state in the country. And it goes right across, like literally goes across. So if you guys want to know like Alabama, here's the county. I can't even pronounce that county. I don't even know what that is. It's the commissioner's office. Here's the address. Uh, here's the city, the state. Here's the, if you want to write them, here's the mailing address. Here's the phone number. Here's the population. Here's the interest rate. Here's the redemption period. So if you're in Alabama, you got three years redemption period. So I would stay away from Alabama if you want the property. But if you want the interest rate, it will be actually a good state for you. Uh, it's a lean state. It has a premium bid and it is on site or mail in depending on it. It actually tells you when the sale is. So if you wanted to know more about that particular state, here's every single county. Alaska, Arizona, every single county. All the way down. And guys, if it's making you dizzy, I want you to make you dizzy because I want you to see how much information this is actually is right here. This is, I mean, this is Florida, Georgia, and it goes all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, and it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. This is content for you all the way down. Illinois, Indiana, and it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. So any county that you want to know about, here's the information. Call them. Write them. You know, the population, this is the research tool that will save your life. So not only do you got the map, but then you also got the spreadsheet that goes along with it. So when you're doing your research, guys, there's nothing that you don't need to get started with this stuff. Like, I'm going to tell you every single thing you need to know. Every single thing you need to know. Guys, I, this, this, guys, I got started with $300. I'm a millionaire. I think that this is the best investment ever. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I did not come up. Thank you. No problem, Nora. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I did not come up with the best investment ever. I had, I heard a presentation when I was 17 years old at Purdue university. I heard no problem. Thank you so much for watching us. Uh, I heard somebody uh, when I was 17 years old say it's the best investment ever. And it stuck with me guys. If I could find this company, I promise I would, I would actually write them because it changed my life at 17. They deposited a seed into my life. that really did not come into manifestation until like 20 years later. I went to, uh, this seminar uh, in Indianapolis. I drove an hour. I'm 17 years old, right? I got like three, four hundred dollars. I got my little refund money back from college. And instead of everybody else going out and buy stuff, I always tried to find a way to make my money work, make money. And so I went to the seminar and I was going to buy it, but it was like it was a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars plus. And I was like, man, I only got three hundred dollars, like or four hundred dollars, whatever I had. But man, I really, 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 really want this course. And this was before they had you know internet the way they have it now. They had internet, but it wasn't. This is was '94, right? They had internet, but it wasn't like it is today. Uh, this is back when we still had AOL. You got mail, right? Uh, this is when, you know, you had to have HTML code to have a website. And so it wasn't nearly as, we didn't have a Facebook. There was no Twitter. There was none of that. And so they had literal CDs. They had literal CDs packages. You had to go take the CDs. In fact, I think it was VHS tapes. I don't even think they had DVDs then, right? But anyway... Uh, they wouldn't sell it to me. I was I begged for it. Like, man, listen, I, they, they wouldn't sell it to me. So uh, what what we did, but I got the name from them. It was called The Best Investment Ever. Let me tell you what actually got me to go. Netscape, boy, what you know about that? Net? If you remember Netscape, you old. That's all I can tell you. If you remember Netscape, which was a browser like we have, like your Internet Explorer, but it was called Netscape. If you remember Netscape, you are O L. D O like <laughs> Metascape. I don't remember Metscape. I don't remember Metscape. I think that was probably before my time. Y'all might be a little older than me. I don't remember no Metscape. All right. Uh, so 
I got to I got to just you know, I'm just messing with y'all. I'm the same age, so y'all can't be that old. So, anyway, um they called it the best investment ever. And guys, I to this day think it's the best investment ever because watch this. Either I'm going to get 10, 12, 16, 18, 24, 36, 25% interest. I'm going to get that interest rate or I'm going to get the house. The interest rate is better than any annuity, any 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 401k, any RA, any Roth, anything that's out there. It's better than. It's a fixed interest rate. It's monitored by the government. I don't have to do no collections. I pay my money. I'm going to get my return. Or I'm going to get a house. And when I get the house, I get the house debt free. Huh? Yeah. It's the best investment ever. The best investment ever. So, guys, when we come back, we're going to go into a little bit more content. Uh, I want to share another little testimonial with you guys. And then we're going to come back and reset. I'll be right back. Most people are spending more than that on a car repair or on a pair of shoes or on a Christmas, on a vacation. She bought a house. She will never have a mortgage again. Totally debt free, a house. All brick, three bedroom, one bath, living room, dining room, kitchen, full basement, you name it, it's all right here. I could not be prouder than this young lady. Harolyn, Harolyn, tell me how you got started, what you did, what made you decide to go ahead and take this leap of faith. My name is Harolyn Williams. I'm a single parent of four kids and I found George on social media. I took his first, um, the first course I took was Six Steps to Six Figures. The second course was Purchase to Profit. And what I did, I took my tax refund and I bought a whole house. Half a house? Nope, a whole house. <laughs> so I bought this um, beautiful home, all brick, three bedrooms and uh, no debt, no mortgage, paid in full. No debt, so, no mortgage. First time homeowner, and uh, I can honestly say I got my first home with no 30 year mortgage, no debt, which is a blessing. So if I could do it, <laughs> you could do it too. Man. All right, guys, and we're back right here. My name is George Howard. I am your financial Moses. I'm helping you get from that land of not enough, that land of just enough, over to that land of more than enough, that land of captivity, that land of debt, that land where you're, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul. We're going to take you across the Red Sea and take you over to the land of Canaan, that land flowing with milk and honey. That's what I do. I've been teaching this for over 20 plus years. I don't just do tax things. We do financial literacy as a whole, which is why it's called Financial Freedom University. Tax things is just one of the things that we teach to actually create wealth. If you have not create, if you have not registered for our webinar that is absolutely free this Saturday, you want to register right now. Um, yes, you can do this while you're in the chapter 13. You want to go to myffu.com forward slash webinar. Again, that's myffu.com forward slash webinar. I'm going to say it one more time. Myffu.com forward slash webinar. What's up, Troy? Good to see you back in the building, man. Uh, it's absolutely free. It's going to be this Saturday at 7 o'clock. I don't care what you got going on. You want to cancel it. Tell them to wait. Uh, this is more important. I'm about to make long how to be a millionaire. If you got $500, you can count to five. One, two, three. Four, five. You got those two things, you can be a millionaire. And before you ask me, no, you don't have to give me your $500. This is what I'm buying houses with, $500. You got $500 to buy a house with, and you can count to five. I promise you, you can be a millionaire, and I want to show you how you can do it. Free webinar this Saturday coming up. All right, so now, you guys, we're talking about passive income, right? We just kind of talked about over a little bit about taxing certificates. Let's talk about passive income just for a little while. Somebody tell me what passive income is. I'll wait. Passive income. Who who got the answer? What is passive income? Let me look on Facebook and see if somebody know what passive income is on Facebook. Uh, nope. No work. I like that, Cheyenne. Guys, passive income means... My money is working and I'm not. That's right. And Troy said, I like that. I like that. Income from your investments monthly. It doesn't require your presence. I like that. Money without using your time. You better. D. Charles, man, we got to hook up, bro. You're a bright man. You, uh, man, D. Charles, we having those answers for you, right? Money doesn't require your presence. Money doesn't require your time. When your money makes money, it's called passive income. Money that makes you, money that makes money without spending your time. That's exactly it, you guys. Passive income is just what it is. It's passive. Like, it's not really there. You know that, like, they have a phrase now called passive aggressive, which means they've really been aggressive, but it's, like, secretly been aggressive. It's, like, like secretly, like, silent aggression. 
well, that's kind of like passive income. It's income, but it's like silently working in the background, just making you money. Uh, yeah, that's passive aggressive. Another word that we use today is called residual income. They're both the same. It comes in every single month, whether it's passively or residually, it's going to be there. There are not many ways to get that, right? You can open a corporation and that corporation is running itself. And so, you know, every single month you have passive income or you can buy stock or ownership or equity in a corporation and it would actually get you that. You can get intellectual property, intellectual property. If you license that intellectual property and let somebody use it, then you have residual or passive income. Um, real estate will bring you passive or residual income. That's real estate, right? So by the end of 2018, our goal is to have 100 properties. That 100 properties with an average rent of $700 a month, we're bringing about $70,000 a month. Seventy. That's passive money, right? That's what 100% occupancy occup 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 rate, we believe in God for 100%. But that's $70,000 a month. That's $840,000 a year. It's almost a million dollars a year in just real estate. Right? That's called passive income. So whether I go to work or not, that money's going to be there. Guys, here's the question I have. Well, not question. Here's a statement I want to make to you. Like, dead serious. If Social Security, your Social Security is not going to be there. And if it is there, it's going to be so little that you can't live off of it. You already cannot live off of your Social Security. It's just not. The average Social Security right now is like $1,300 a month. And I think that's maximum. I got a question for you. If you live in, if you got thirteen, it's a thousand because that's probably much what it's going to be. You got $1,000 a month coming in Social Security and that's the only income you got. Can you make it? No, you can't. That's why you got people retiring, going to work a second job. Why would you ever want to retire to go back to work? Like... Does that make sense? You retired to go back to work. Uh, how do you handle repair costs when you get started? I'm going to answer that question in just a second. Harold, don't let me forget that question. Somebody said, how do you get started uh, when you have very little um, money to work with, right? Matter of fact, I'm not going to answer that question. Come to the webinar and we actually, it's inside of the webinar. Come to the webinar it's inside the webinar. Come to the register for the webinar. We actually show you slide by slide how to get started with no actual money. Like not no money, but if you have very little money for re for repair, for rehab, we actually show you how to do it. You ain't got to get no loan. You ain't got to borrow no money. You ain't got to, you know, beg and plead. You ain't got to, you know, there is there are ways that you can actually get started really with very 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 little money. Guys, I got started with $300. Literally Maximum Social Security is twenty five fifty. Thank you, Landy. I appreciate that. Are uh, you'll be there, Paige? Page, is it is it Paget? Pagejet? Thank you. Thank Cheyenne. Don't make any sense, does it? Not none at all. All right. Thank you, Landy, for that correction. She said uh, maximum is twenty five hundred, uh, but the average. And I can Google it. Let's let's Google it. And make sure that I'm right. I believe it's the average. So let's bring it back up, right? So we can come right back over here. This is why I love the internet, because uh, we can just go right back over here and say. Um, what is the average Social Security benefit, right? So we want the average Social Security benefit. Um, maximum possible. The maximum is actually twenty three sixty six, Landy. So we both were wrong. Um, the average Social Security check in twenty sixteen was thirteen hundred dollars, just like I said. Um, the average, the estimated average monthly Social Security benefits check in two thousand sixteen was $1,341. I said it was $1,300 and I was correct. So yeah, I try to be on my stuff, you guys. I try to do my little research. I don't be just throwing numbers out there. I, I do that, right? So um, so that's, that's what it is. All right, so with that being said, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna generate passive income? Let's do some math. Y'all want to do some ghetto math with an F, <laughs> right? Some ghetto math with an F. So I'm going to bring back up this old Excel spreadsheet, right? And uh, I'm going to just go to new. And we're just going to pay with some numbers real quick, right? $1,300, right? Who, gonna do, who can do that? We're just going to call this uh, retirement. 
and then I want to go over here and I want to go to we're gonna put in amount and then uh, yeah well, that's what I would do all right so under amount I'm gonna put in let's say you got 50,000 75,000 I actually want to do this differently I want to put let's make this the title right so we're gonna merge and center this and then I want to actually control C this actually control exit and then we're gonna control V this we're gonna go 50,000 we're gonna go 75,000 right now I want you guys to see this like if you got this much money in the bank 100,000 150,000 200,000 oops 200,000 we're gonna say 300,000 like this is real like this is real life 400,000 and then I want to make sure I think that's 4 million right so let's put some commas in here make sure I got this right 150 200 300 yep, that's I thought that was 4 million all right so now what we're gonna do you guys I'm gonna actually put in here interest rates right so we're gonna actually put in here 4% 5% 6% 7% 8% which is what your average this is what your average return on your investment is with with mutual funds IRAs 401ks right so you guys I'm off the cuffs with this but this is it's gonna work right so we're gonna hit, go over here hit the sum button equal sum and but we're not gonna do sum. I just want to go to equal and I'm gonna say actually first of all let me clear this out I want to make these percentages make those percentages and so that's now 400% so I want to go 0.04 which is 4% and I want to go 0 0.05 0 0.06 0 0.07 0 0.08 right now I want to go equal this and star this and it goes it tells me what I make per year this is not a month this is a year so I want to take this formula here and I want to drag this all the way down here, right? Well, nope, that's not going to work. Go back. I want to take this. Nope, not going to work. All right, so let's take the formula here. I don't know why it's not working that way. That's all right. So we'll go equal, equal, this, star, this. Now let's see if they both work. No. All right. So, all right. So we got to do it the long way. This star, this, and then we hit equal. Stay with me, guys. I'm, I'm making a point. I want y'all to see this is your money on paper, right? This is really your money on paper. This is, you guys can't see me. Wait, I'm not sharing my screen. I thought I was sharing my screen. I'm so sorry. All right. Let's blow this up so you guys can see what I'm doing over here. I'm so sorry. Y'all didn't even tell me y'all couldn't see what I was doing over here. Carolyn, can you turn that down, please? I'm about to cook. All right. Let me have equal this star this. All right. Now let's see if we can take it from left to right. All right. All right. Nope. It's still not working because those numbers are way too big. All right, so what I want to do, go equal this star. Somebody help me out. What am I doing wrong with this Excel sheet? Because this should actually do this. It's not. What am I doing wrong? Somebody help me out because I ain't got time to do this all the way across. But what I will do is I'll actually try to make it quicker. So this is C7, so I want E7 by B4. All right, so uh, let's delete it. Somebody help me out. What am I doing wrong? E, we're going to go here. I was trying to try dragging the formula down. It didn't work for me. All right? That's right. So what I'm going to do is go to Control C, Control V, and see if that works. Nope. I want B7, not C7. 
All right, you guys, this might take longer than what I thought, and I ain't got all day. Control V. Y'all got to go to bed. It's past y'all bedtime. I know. It's past the bedtime. I already know it is. Y'all going to ready to hang me in the morning. B7. All right. I'm trying to hurry up, but y'all going to get the point. Control C. Control V. Control V. Go back up here. Let's make this B7. I'm doing something wrong. Somebody give me the, the, the Excel tip that's going to make this be a lot quicker because this is not working. The formula is not carrying over for me. Do you need a dollar sign in front of the remaining for the same? That might be it. Let me try that. So let me see here. So let's try. So is it dollar sign here? No, that's not it. So let's put a dollar sign in front of the formula. Or in front of the sale. So now if I drag it. Nope, still not doing it for me. Still not doing it for me. It's broke. All right, so anyway, so anyway, what I got to do, you guys, just to make it like quicker, we're going to get rid of the 6 and 7%, 5, 6, and 7, and we're just going to jump down to 8, right, so that we can actually see this. So I'm going to equal this star this. And it's going to be 4,000. Then we're going to delete this. I'm going to go hit this control C. Hit this over here, control V. And then we're going to change this to B. Wait, that still didn't work. In front of both of them? All right, so let's try this. Harlan said I need a dollar sign here and here. Right there, put a dollar sign there and there. No, that means it's going to stay the same. Okay, we're going to put it right there. Nope, still didn't work. I'll put one here, just in case. You might be right. Now let's try it. Nope, still didn't work. Do you have to put a dollar sign in front of I don't know. I'll just go ahead and do it this way so we can go and get done. Yeah. We'll, we'll play with it later. Not in between. I'm talking about in front of the Wait a button. minute. Well, that's not my formula. My, my formula. Is that B... Oh, that's eight. That's in, why. In front of the B, not in between. What's that? What now? Put the dollar sign in front of the letter. I did put it in front of the letter. You got it in between the letter. I had that the first time. Oh, that didn't work. Uh-uh. That's how I had it the first time. Huh. Okay. Ugh. That's what happens when you're in a hurry, right? Trying to show y'all something. And I know it's past y'all bedtime. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, so this is C. Let's just do it this way. Equal 75,000 times 8% a year gives me that. Equals 100,000. Now you guys, what I'm actually doing is I'm actually calculating your retirement. <laughs> and that's if you got this much money in the bank, right? If you got this much money in the bank, this is what it's going to be. So if you got 8% and $100,000, if you get 8%, God, why is it doing that? 8% times 100000 gives you $8,000 a year. Like, I really want you guys to see this number. Like, this is like ridiculous. If I got 150000 and I get 8% a year, and that's really high. I got 12000 that's $1,000 a month. Like, I really want you guys to see this. Like, if I got $200,000 and I get times 8%, you guys, that's $16,000 a year. This is not a month. This is a year. So, y'all do the math. Like, can you live off this? Like, y'all, see, this is what they, they I'm telling y'all, everything they told y'all about finance is a lie. Like, 8% is good. No, it's not. It's not. Like, who, who ever thought you could live off this stuff? All right, last one. Thank you guys for sticking in here, hanging around with me. Uh, Y'all know I'm always up to something whenever I go to the board. I pull out this Excel spreadsheet, right? So, like, I really want y'all to, like, really check this out. So, if you have, and let me see if I can bring my picture up here so you guys can see my picture, too. Um, 
understand. I don't get it. So anyway, we just gonna go ahead and uh, I guess I put this one up here. And uh, is it this one? I delete these. This is so messed up. All right, so you guys ain't gonna be able to see my picture, all right? But the problem is that since, right, and it does compound. This is not using compound. So I will say this is not compound interest, all right? So just to be fair, this is not using compound interest. Um, I would probably have to bring up a uh, compounding calculator for it to do it. I don't know how to do it in Excel for the formulas, but I can tell you guys, this is a year. So if you retired, and you had $100,000 in the bank and you were getting 8% interest, you would get $8,000 a year. That's less than $1,000 a month. That's like $8,000 a year. That's like $700 a month. If you got $200,000 in the bank, most of us in this room don't have $200,000 in a 401k retirement account. I do, but I can walk you through it on scope. Help me, uh, Flea. You got to help me learn how to do it, girl. You know, I don't know everything. Y'all got to teach me, right? So you got $200,000 at 8%. Guys, it's $16,000 a year. If you got 400000 that's almost half a million. You got $400,000 and you're getting 8% a year, you're getting $32,000 a year, which comes out to be, what is it, about less than $3,000 a month. That's if you got, let's do the four hundred. I'm sorry, it's not 400, just do 32,000. I think it's like somewhere like 2,800, divided by 12. 2,600, all right? So that's $2,600 a year, guys. Here's the question. No, I said it can't, it's a few steps, no worry. Okay, all right, well, yeah, I'm sorry, you guys, I kind of blew that one, but I wanted you guys to see that because if that's what you're counting on for passive income, you're going to need a second plan. Like, you're going to need a second plan. Now, I'm all for compound interest. So, like, if you like 25, 30, 35, 40, and you start investing now, and you start putting that money in there, and you start letting it compound, you know, time with money, <laughs> time and money work together uh, and your benefit, then, yes, it works for you. The problem is that 78% of Americans live check to check. So, where's the extra money going to come from to put into your retirement account? When 78% of Americans live check to check, when are we going to invest? How are we going to invest? I'm broke already. I ain't got no money for investing. Like, that's real talk. So if you have the money to invest in and you start investing, start investing now because time and money will work in your favor. Our compound interest is the best thing ever since gold. But guys, you're going to have to find something else. You're going to have to find something else. So... Let's go back to the spreadsheet, and I want to show you something else, right? Um, this spreadsheet right here, let's take this 8%. Or actually, let's take this 4%, right? And I want to take this, and I want to make it 0 0.25. Really? That's all you're going to do me? you you going to... You gonna... Okay, let's take out the point and see what happens. All right. So it looks a lot different when you do 25%. And this is not compounding. This is only, you know, yearly. But if I'm getting 25% interest, why, why is this doing this? It's not moving my mouse. It's moving my screen. It didn't used to do that. All right. Um, if you guys are getting 25% interest and you got $100,000, you guys, that's $25,000 a year. If you got $200,000, that's $50,000 a year. If you got $400,000, at least I'm making six figures. Right? Look at the numbers. 18 compared to 6. 25 compared to 8. 37 compared to 12. 50 compared to 16. 75 compared to 24. Well, I just showed you that Texas has a 25% every six months with tax lien certificates. I just showed you that. That's if you don't get the house. If you get the house, well, that's quite different. Like, guys, I'm going to show you, like, I'm getting over 1,000% returns on these properties. Literally over, like, people going crazy over Bitcoin. I've been enjoying Bitcoin's returns for like the last two years. Thank you, Jesus. Not a bragging thing. And I'm not saying that you can't invest in Bitcoin. I'm not saying you shouldn't invest in Bitcoin. I'm saying you should research Bitcoin. But my choice for investments is taxing certificates. My choice for investments, my choice for passive income 
let's 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 do a comparison. If Bitcoin, guys, if you don't take, if you guys don't mind, uh, share this scope out real quickly for me. And if you have not registered for myffu.com forward slash webinar, I ask you to do so. Go ahead and register for that webinar right now, please. If you have not registered, we're going to actually show you exactly how I was able to take $300 and turn into literally millions of dollars. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I'm going to teach you how to take $500 and turn into over a million dollars. You, you can do it. You don't need, uh, you should look at Ripple. That's another one that you can look at. All right. Um, but I'm going to teach you how to take $500, literally, and if you can count to five, I'm going to show you how to take that $500 and turn it into over a million dollars. Real talk. Real talk. Like, I'm not, you don't have to sell anything. You don't have to have somebody, you ain't got to recruit nobody. You don't have to, you can have bad credit. You can be in a bankruptcy. You, you can do all this stuff. Like, you can be divorced. You can be, you know, on disability at home. You can do this. Literally. Let's go to myffu.com forward slash webinar. It'll change your life. I promise you. All right. So that's passive income, you guys. That's residual income. My question is, how and when are you going to do it? How are you going to create that passive residual income? What are you going to do? Because you got to do something. Because those numbers that we just showed on the screen, they don't look very promising. Ripple is actually what the banks are, are standing behind. I gotta, I gotta look it up. Let me write that down. Yeah, I'll, I'll look it up now. Right, guys. At some point, you gotta find something, and then somebody just put up dividends. Uh, what's up, Wednesday? Wednesday. Uh, dividends, guys. Pay attention to the tax bill. They're taxed at a different rate. Like what people are paying, thirty percent tax bracket, guys. Dividends at the highest is at ten percent. At the highest. You tax at a 10% rate on dividends. Yeah, that's amazing. I got to research Ripple. I haven't researched it at all. So I'll be looking at that bigly, deeply, especially if the big banks are using it. If I, can, if I ever find what the big banks are using, I'm going all in on it. Like, because I believe I'm betting on the big banks. I'm not betting on Bitcoin. I think the big boys are going to, I think the big banks are going to put Bitcoin out of business. I don't think it's going to happen in the next six months. So if you want to ride the Bitcoin wave, ride, ride it. Ride it. If you want to ride the Bitcoin wave, go ahead and ride it. But eventually, I think the bank, the big bank, the big banks are going to put Bitcoin out of business through regulation. I think they're going to I think they're going to influence law. And I think influ and then once they influence law, they're going to be able to demand regulation. And when it comes down to regulation, they're going to make sure Bitcoin is not in their regulation. And when that happens, Ripple, if that's what they're using, stock is going to take straight off. And I'll ride the pan. Bitcoin just look like four things, Bitcoin, I order, uh, Ethereum, and Ripple. That's why the stock just raised to 14000 I was wondering why it went up. I hadn't followed the news with it, but that's why. Um, um, that might be why uh, Japan might have just legalized it. But I'm telling you, big banks in America, uh, thank you, uh the money cow, thank you so much. Help me out. All right. Uh, learn how to trade foreign currencies like the banks. I don't know how, but if you know how, uh, Sandra, uh, you're more than welcome to do it. That's not my specialty, and I'm going to stay in my own lane. Um, that's really it. So, you guys, real quickly, I'm going to actually take some Q&A, and then I'm going to get you guys off of here. I know it's 10 o'clock my time, so it's 11 o'clock. Uh, a lot of other, uh, somebody, your time, so uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so... And it could be 25000 by the end of the year. I just don't want to take that chance. I, I would say stay in my lane and make my, my little bit of money where I'm at. I'm comfortable. I got a guaranteed return. I, I'm cool with where I'm at. Um, do you ever wholesale the houses? Uh, no, I buy wholesale, but I don't, I'm, a, I'm a holder. I'm a buying holder. I want that passive residual income I was just talking about. So my, my long-term strategy is to buy and hold. Um, yeah, when people... The Forex markets, I think Forex markets is actually pretty good. Uh, but again, I don't trade. But if you do, that's what you do. Hey, man, go for it. Yes, I rent. Uh, yeah, uh, Charles, I, I do it all the time. The first time I go into properties, I do it all the time. Every time I go into a new property, well, I ain't say every time. Um, matter of fact, I, I got a whole, what do you call it? I got a whole like series of properties we're going to start releasing day by day. All right. Uh, do you use a management company for my property? No, I own a management company, Pajet. What is the average cost to repair some of these homes? 
Kim, I got properties that I ain't put a dime in. I'm already getting rent off of. Like, literally, I got property. I haven't put a dime in. People were living in it when I bought them. They're already paying me rent. I got other properties I had to put as little as $2,000 in. I got some that I put as much as $20,000 in. So it depends on how much money, what kind of money you want to put in it. It depends on, you know, how you want to do it, what you want to do, all those different type of things. So uh, it's going to be a little different. All right. Uh, the first look scopes are always nice. No, they're not. They actually be ugly. I actually enjoy the first look scope so that when I actually do the before and after pictures, Charles, bro, you be like, man, that's the same house. I'm like, yeah. And it only costs three thousand, four thousand, five thousand dollars. And now this five thousand dollar investment plus this five hundred dollar house, this fifty five hundred dollar investment, is making me eight hundred dollars a month, ninety six hundred dollars. Guys, that's over hundred percent return. Bow. First year after ten years, bruh. That's that's my strategy. That's what I. That's my investment strategy. It may not work for you, and it's okay. How long does the unit generally take before you start to make money that you don't have to reinvest? Um. For repairs, when I first start, when I first got started, I was looking at about it takes six months to really get title to property, eight to nine months really before I start generating passive income, eight to nine months. Um, now that I have so many, um, I mean after we do repairs, usually before usually before my properties are done being repaired, they're rented. Like yeah, but it shows. The Thomas and Gary don't look tore up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't worry, AD Charles. We got some tore up ones. I just don't buy them. What do you think is best for flipping or holding? What do you think is best? It's up to your strategy. The ugly duck that would be a swan. That's right, Lorraine. It depends on your strategy, D. Charles. Uh, if you're just getting started, you need some capital immediately. Hey, man, flip. You know, if you're young and you say, man, you listen, I just, I just want to flip right now. I'm not into investing. Hey, flip. If you owe and you say, you know what? That whole landlord thing like Kim. Kim says, I don't want to be a landlord. I don't want to be a landlord. I, I want to get in. I want to get out. I had a, I've been a landlord, had a bad experience. I don't want to do it anymore. Flip it. There is a whole market for flipping. I promise you. We, we have more houses flipped since 2008, and 9, and 10. Guys, this is like a big flippers market right now since the market has bounced back. So definitely get in it. Will Still Steps Credit Course show me how to get my credit above 701? Yes, it will. Uh, do I need to disclose that I am a realtor when buying? No, you do not. You do not have to be a realtor. There's no disclosures. Uh, there's no tax law there's no certifications there's none of that to do this i can't locate my course george how can i how can i be resent lisa call uh, the office and they'll reset your password call the office and they'll reset your password for you all right guys shoot them out there you got any questions on facebook or youtube all right um if y'all ain't got no do, do you discuss self-direct iras yes of course we got to talk about self-direct iras for tax liens um, Memphis is supposed to be one of the hottest flipping places right now, according to national numbers. Memphis is always on fire, though. Memphis has been on fire for I don't know how long. People thought, guys, listen here. You know, I have a very diverse audience, and I respect everybody. Guys, anybody know, tell you, I just speak 100% truth. Sometimes I be a little off. Sometimes I'm a little raunchy. Sometimes I'm a little uh, too direct, but I'm always going to keep it 100. Most of the times when you find a black city, that's where you find gentrification. How you become a mentee, uh, Cheyenne? Um, my FFU four slash real estate mentor. My F my FFU four slash real estate mentor, and uh, it it'll, it'll show you. Um, my FFU like Katrina, she just bought two of them. Um, what about Louisiana, man? <laughs> after Katrina, they they they've been taking over. They've been taking over Louisiana after Katrina for a long time. You late in Katrina, like you're you're late. You going to Louisiana, like. Um, no problem. Louisiana is a big one, big one. All right. Uh, can you explain uh, my partnership program? I can, but I can tell you this: we do all the work. You get, you make the money. Um, you provide one hundred percent of the money. We provide one hundred percent of the work, and we split all proceeds 50 fifty-fifty. Once we get a tenant into the house, we actually split all costs fifty-fifty. So, in fact, Harlem USA is going through the process right now. Yes. Harlem, they already they had already hit up the Bronx. <laughs> like Bronx is hit. Harlem's being hit. Compton being hit. Chicago being hit. Like Nashville being hit. Atlanta being hit and been hit. Uh, can I purchase in Chicago at the auction uh, and flip? Yeah, but I don't do Chicago only because of the rules regulations. I, I missed the whole hybrid state thingy. 
Uh, but the tax rate in Chicago is just so high. The tax rate in Chicago is just so high. Uh, and the process they make you go for redemption is just, it's so its so strenuous. I just choose to stay over here in Indiana. I just registered for the webinar. Boop, boop. All right, Grace, we're going to change your life. I promise you. MyFFU.com forward slash webinar. You guys want to go watch it. I'll be back to do a couple more Q&A. When we get back, I'm going to actually take this one little short commercial break. It'll be less than a minute. And I'll be right back to finish your questions. Hi, my name is Lorraine Sims. I am a graduate of Financial Freedom University. I've got uh, my second tax lien today. I'm super excited. My first one I obtained at an auction. This is my second one at this auction. And I'm super excited about it. I actually met my mentor on Periscope of all things. I've always wanted to flip properties and, and do things with real estate and it just was dropped in my lap. So I know it was God given. Um, I'm here to tell you today that this is definitely something that you need to get into. You can buy properties for pennies on the dollar, okay? I just got one for $500 today. The other one I got one for $500. So there's so many properties here, guys, that it's amazing. This is something that could get you financial freedom. You could become a millionaire with this. Take it and run. I love it. I'm shouting out my, I'm a rep from my, from my school. I'm a graduate of Financial Freedom University. Shouting out my mentor, George Howard. He's amazing. Catch his course and I'll see you guys at the top. All right, you guys, that was Lorraine, uh, one of our students, one of our graduates of FFU. Uh, she's taken all of our courses. Um, she came down to the conference last May, got her another tax lien. So now she got two of them. And that's just she's a single mom. Got two of them. I don't know what y'all waiting on. And Lorraine, I seen your comment. and said, that's me. All right? That's me. <laughs> all right, so I got a couple more Q&A, you guys. If you haven't registered for the webinar, you want to register myffu.com forward slash webinar. So at the auction in March, the properties are all located in Chicago. No, they're located in Lake County, Indiana. This is the Lake County, Indiana sale. I don't. I try to stay as far away from Chicago as I can. Uh, I just don't like the tax rate. And then the property values are so high. Uh, and then the contracts you got to pay are so high. Everything in Chicago is high. So I stay as far away from it as I can. All right, thank you, Cheyenne. On some of the properties, would you ever go straight to the homeowner instead of going to the courthouse? Of course, Lampkin. That's one of our strategies. We got a course, whole course coming out called Pre-Auction Profits. And they got another one that's coming out after that called Post-Auction Profits. There are strategies. Literally, I do it every auction where I get properties before the auction and I get properties after the auction. Boom. So, uh, Mr. Lampkin, you're right on target with it. We do go straight to the homeowner. We do try not to go to the auction. We do try not to bid against other people. And I get immediate possession right then and there. Like, bam. And then, of course, if their house has already been sold at the auction and they only got 120 days, guys, they're stressed out. They will probably make you a deal. You, you can sell them back the home or you can take immediate possession and say, hey, I'll give you a couple dollars. And you leave. Guys, there's so many strategies you can use to do, to do this and make so much money. It's not just tax lien certificates. There's so many other strategies that you can actually implement. And in 2018, you'll see both of those courses begin to come out. And I believe um, that's what you want to do. Mr. Cheyenne said, that's what I want to do. You ain't got to go to an auction and compete against everybody. Just approach the homeowner. Now you just got to know how to do it and what to do and the contracts you need to have. That's that's what we're going to do. All right. Any other questions before we get? Sign up. Thank you, Lorraine, for actually telling people to sign up. Um, guys, didn't Lorraine sound good? Guys, that was like literally outside the courthouse. That was impromptu. Uh, I told Lorraine she did a video, an interview for me for Six Steps 2. And I said, the girl is a natural speaker. She's so gifted. Um, like, I'll, I'll see you at the top. Bye-bye. Like, like, she's just gifted. Like, you put a camera in front of her and say, lights, camera, action, she going to do it. Like, uh, yeah, I thought that was a great testimonial. Um, Lorraine, I've been in here giving you all kind of props and you just, just came back in the room, right? That's okay. Watch the replay. But I just told you, you just two thumbs up on what you be doing. You did fabulous. All right. So, um, guys, no more comments. I'm going to go. I love you. God bless you. And, uh, is legal representation needed at any point? Queen, I would be remiss to tell you no. I've been doing this for a very, I've been in the mortgage industry since I was 19 years old. 
So I've been doing mortgages and legal stuff. I've owned two mortgage companies. I've been doing it for a very long time. So real estate and real estate law comes almost second nature to me now. So um, I don't have to get attorneys. I teach you in Indiana that you, you know how to do it without an attorney. But at least your first time, you probably want to get an attorney. Or let Brittany be one of your coaches to walk you kind of through that. And there is a fee for that too, right? If you get the course and, you know, you come to the conference, she's going to actually, she has a special session at the conference where she teach you how to do this. A special session that she teach you how to do this at the conference. Like it comes in the course, um, but then a special time where she actually shows you at the conference exactly what to do. But if you still need her time after that, then there will be an additional fee for that. All right. But it's better than paying a thousand dollars that like. There are attorneys here to pay $1,000 a property. So, like, we just had 40 properties. It would have been $40,000 to an attorney. Are you serious? The conference is in February 22nd through the 25th in Chicago, Illinois. You do not want to miss it. You want to make sure that you are there. Um, what other questions do you have for me? Thank you, Loran. I think you're awesomer. You're the awesomest. <laughs> I love my students, you guys. Um... Guys, go to myffu.com forward slash early bird to catch the early bird sale. My hubby and I want to come, want to buy our first home debt free. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Don't go into that debt. All right. What state are you in, Queen? What state are you in? I can't wait to meet you personally, Lisa. What state are you in? Um, I'm waiting to see what state Queen is in. I'm going to let her know. Um, wait, uh, Harlan, huh? this thing ain't plugged in. You in Maryland, Baltimore? Are you in Baltimore? Not... What part of Maryland are you in? The green one. It's not plugged in. Harlan down here breaking stuff, y'all. Near Baltimore? Baltimore is on fire. Baltimore is on fire. What's the web I just for the early bird? MyFFU.com forward slash early bird. Early bird. That is where you want to go. When's the next auction? It's going to be March. They have not released the date yet, but it's in March. And then there's going to be another one in May. Uh, this one of the hot spots. Listen, five places right now in the country you want to invest. Number one is Detroit, Michigan. It is a deed state. It's better than a lean state. They start off. Um, they start off at $500 at their sale too. Michigan, Detroit is on fire right now. The second one, my opinion, is Gary, Indiana. You say Gary and Detroit, are you serious? Yes, buy low, sell high. Right now, both of those cities are low. By the time everybody start catching on to it, yeah, I'm partnering every, I partner every auction, Reese. I partner every auction. Um, I don't buy any more guys at the, at the auctions. It's not fair to my partners if I buy. Because it's like, okay, did you say the best properties for you? So I don't buy anymore. I just partner. Um, uh, Detroit is on fire. Gary, Indiana, fire. The third one is Baltimore, Maryland, on fire. Guys, gentrification is happening in these cities. If you've never seen gentrification before, just watch those cities. Number four, Cleveland, Ohio. All these places sound like these are horrible places for right now. For right now. And again, guys, lastly, Flint, Michigan. I was told today that one of the colleges is buying up Flint, Michigan. Let me find out um, which college is near Flint. Uh, they said one of the colleges is buying up like the whole city. It was either Michigan, Michigan, Flint, Michigan. Yes, Flint, Michigan will be the last one. Uh... Uh, well, they must not be in Flint. Um, what college? College, uh, buying property in Flint, Michigan. That's 2013. That's old. Let's just type in 2017. Let me see if I can find it. No, I don't see anything in here that says the college is buying. I, I, somebody told me that today. 
You guys, I, you know, I always try to research stuff before I put it out there. Gosh, I better look at this. Like, Flint and Detroit, they're making, like, real estate news. Like, literally making real estate news. All right. So, guys, any other questions for me? And then uh, and we're going to go up out of here. I got to go. 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 What, what, what do we have? What you got? What you got? What you got? Nothing? Let's see if anybody watched me on YouTube today. Four people watching on YouTube. Boy, we are growing on YouTube. We went from one to four. That's called growth. That's 400% growth. I get excited about 400% growth in anything. If you take my money and multiply it times four, I like it. If you take my viewers and multiply them times four, I like it. Thank you, YouTube. Facebook. Thank you, Facebook. Periscope. Thank you, Periscope. Guys, y'all don't look up across every platform every time we hit the start broadcast button. Pow. Right? I got to go, you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. We start Morning Manor next week again. Who's excited about Morning Manor next week again? Holidays from Hell is next week. Y'all haven't been watching Holidays from Hell next week. But we got to get through this webinar right here. MyFFU.com forward slash webinar. Go register for the webinar. It's free. Stop being broke. Break the curse. In Jesus' name. All right. I'm gone, you guys. I love you.